Hey everybody, Jeremy Senpai here. Thank you so very much for clicking on my video. I do so hope that you like what you have to hear. If you like what you hear, then please feel free to hit like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Also, if you have any commission ideas that you want to hear from me, you can always send me a message over on my Instagram completely free. Now, let's get into the audio. And as usual, remember always, keep calm and put your headphones on. Now, let's get on to it. Ah, <sighs> sure is a nice night, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a sky that clear before. Hmm. Seems like... Seems like it was only yesterday when we met, and now here we are, out here on a beautiful night, all sweetly cuddled together. I swear, it's times like these that make it all so worthwhile. Or should I say, you make it so worthwhile. You really are an incredible person, you know? I mean... You know, all the horrible things I used to do, being a punk, then being abducted by Dr. Jero, and yet you still gave me a chance. I'm so incredibly thankful for you. It's you who makes it worthwhile for me. So, thank you so, so very much. Well, of course... I say what I mean, after all, and you definitely bring out the best in me, so thank you for that. Why are you blushing? Oh, come on. Is it really that hard that I praise you so much? You are an incredible person. You're the one I love. So, the very fact that you can look past somebody like me and give me a chance, it's only fitting that I shower you with as much love as you deserve. Hmm. Well, of course, what kind of person would I be if I were to reject the person who accepted me so well? I really do love you, you know? I swear, you really do make things worthwhile for me. Showed me that there was a life outside of all this. That there's a life outside of fighting and violence. You really did bring out the best in me. Oh, I bring out the best in you, huh? <laughs> I don't know about that. You were already a pretty incredible person. Long before you met me, I guess. Oh. You think I do that for you, huh? I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you are so incredibly adorable. You really are. Honestly, the very fact that we can just go out here and camp like nothing happened. Yeah, I managed to get somebody to cover for me at the uh, park. The uh, wildlife park. So, I'm a bit overdue for some vacation time. So... Any time I get to spend with you, I consider a blessing. Oh, things are pretty boring, all things considered. Just more stinking poachers trying to cause some trouble. Really, all I have to do is just scare them a bit, and they run away with their tails between their legs. I rarely have to even use my gun. Yeah, you have a point there. I mean, I can use energy blasts, and I'm strong enough to lift a tank and throw it like a toy. 
So there's that too, I guess. But still, it's a relatively peaceful life. Hmm? Why did I become a ranger? Well, I guess you can say I did to respect an old friend of mine. He... He was really big on nature and really liked animals. And even though he didn't say much or rarely talked at all, I could tell that he had a interest in that sort of thing. So I guess you can say I do this to honor him, basically. I like to think he's looking down on me all respectfully, seeing me as a worthwhile human even though I'm technically half a human. You think so, huh? Yeah. Thank you, Sixteen. I... I hope I'm making you proud, little by little. Oh, it was nothing. Just talking to myself, like I usually do. Hm, my sister? Haven't heard from her much. I hear that she caught the attention of one of those guys that we, uh, tried to kill. I mean, granted, we didn't try to kill this guy. And she just randomly gives him a kiss on the cheek. I mean, she could definitely do a lot worse, and she's done worse in the past. And he seems to really take care and love her. Plus, they have an adorable daughter together, my niece. So you know what? I am never going to say one bad word about my brother-in-law. Yeah, um, it's unlikely, but I'm sure that we can have a family dinner at some point. You'd like that, huh? Yeah, I think I would probably like that very much as well. Hmm... I don't really know. I mean, can't go wrong with rice balls, I guess. Marin? Well, she does like sweet things, and my brother-in-law tells me that she's starting to eat more protein, saying that she wants to grow up to be big and strong like mommy and daddy. So we could probably get away with some sort of meat dish, Maybe some yakitori skewers or something? Hm, <laughs> yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Marin in a very long time. I know that they show my picture to her, but... Can't remember the last time that I've actually held her or seen her. Hm. <laughs> She's getting crazy big, so... I doubt she'll even recognize me much saying how she wants to meet her uncle. Yeah, if I still have a heart in this body of mine, I think it's almost a bit broken. <laughs> so, you like seeing me all flustered and acting cute, huh? I should expect nothing less than that from the love of my life. Hmm. Hmm. All right. We should probably get some sleep now. It's going to be cold pretty soon, so let's just get into our tent and then the sleeping bags. You go in without me. I'm going to douse the fire, and I'm going to prepare some hot chocolate for the both of us. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm incredibly proud of all of them. You guys make it all so worthwhile. Take care, 18, brother-in-law, Marin, and the rest of my enemies turned reluctant friends. Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. We have a pretty early day, so let's just turn in. Hey, you're the one that wanted to see the sunrise, so don't come crying to me. Good night, my love. Hmm. 
see you in the morning.